It's action time. It is. Exciting. And now Steve Medeiros is on. Hello, Steve. Joy Baxter. Yes, Michael's very different. Unorthodox, I don't know. Re repetition, yes. And like I always say in the words of Billy Whalo, it's not how. It's how many. And uh, whatever your style is, if you can knock them over, you're going to beat people. That's a fact. Regardless of what it looks like on camera. And here we go. We've got 42 people watching. No, one game left, Zach. This is it. Here's the situation. This is it. Robert Hilton has to beat David Stouffer by 12 pins, and he can win the tournament. But if John Bambaran beats David Stouffer by 25, and Hilton beats him by 7 or less than 12, then Bambaran can win. Okay, and then so could Mike Roberts go around all of them and win with the 30 bonus pins. So in essence right now, I would say we'd go down as far as Pulaski Jr. if he shoots 300. So we do have five, five bowlers in the hunt. Only one can take home the $750 prize. Here we go. Wow. Wow, great shot for Sulphur. Making a statement right off the bat. Now, Hilton right up on a ball return. He doesn't like the three-step uh, in front of it deal. He likes to take his normal approach. But remember, this lane really broke down. He doesn't want to go high through the nose early. And that's what he did. You see that? He can't stand far enough left. That ball jumped, and he could be in trouble. That's not good. And this pair has been very tough all day. You do not want to go Brooklyn after practice balls. That means you are lost. The Baron with 16 feet aloft. Wow. Boy, is that strong. He is a moose. Wow. I guess that fitness club taught him that shot. There aren't many people that could throw it that good with that kind of loft. Unbelievable. 16 feet aloft. The Baron. Topping again with mental errors last week. Same thing. Just missing spares. Don't want to see it. Now watch Roberts. He might walk left on this in front of the ball return. Let's see. A little bit. Yep. Yeah, good shot there. That's there. Ooh, broke it down. Good shot for Roberts. Now see, now Hilton shouldn't have any problem on 25 because he doesn't have a ball return there. So this should be his easiest lane. You can see already he's standing past 40 on that lane. And... There it is. See, so Hilton's saying, yeah, let me stand left. I can strike. Well, what's he going to do on the right lane? You know, he's got a problem. Stouffer's taking the three-stepper on the right lane. Okay, now Stouffer is going to go in front of the ball return again. Look at this. Standing about 50 with his left foot and uh, taking three steps. And he's playing that oil. There is push on the fifth and sixth arrow, and that's where he's playing. He's probably playing about 28, 29. Let's see. Wow, look at that one. Oh, that's a great shot. Now, you see, that's, uh, that's championship bowling right there. Now, John's using the opposite. He's not going to stand in front of the ball return, or at least he hasn't yet. He plays loft. He's figuring if the heads hook early, I'll throw him over the heads. And that's what he's doing. And he's strong enough and good enough to do it. So you can see he's standing probably 15 boards farther right than Stouffer, but he's going to use left here. Whoa. That was an excellent shot. Just yeah, just excellent shot. Just caught the oil a little quick with the loft. And great bowlers here, all showing us their skill levels right here. Let's watch the front shot from Mike Roberts. Standing, sliding in the gutter. See that? 
That left foot was in the gutter, and we're going to show that now with Bam Barron. Let's see where Bam Barron slides on this one. Oh, this is the spare. We're going to wait for the strike ball from Bam Barron. Now, here's the deal. Uh, with the scoring up, Mark Jr., remember, he's at 11 4 300 could put him at the, uh 14 34. So he could go around everybody, but he has to keep striking. There's. Big Wayne Toplin, though, open in the first, strike in the second. Trip the four and says, thank you, I'll take it. Okay, now watch Stouffer here. I do too. I love it. See, now Stouffer going to be sliding with the, oh, you watch the left foot. It should be in the left gutter. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if the left foot slides parallel to the left gutter. Let's watch it. Right on a gutter cap. Right on a foul line cap. And he tripped the four. And he's telling everybody, well, you better keep striking or it's over. Now, Hilton, see, he can't slide that far left unless he walks around the ball return. See, he's sliding 35. Oh, and he threw it good. He, he held it back. Might have taken his hand out of it a little bit. Interesting. We've got some great bowling here today. Pulaski for four. And Pulaski's coming, saying, I'm not done. Don't make a mistake. The Baron. Ooh, and wobbled the seven. Now Mike Smith on a double. And ten in the pit for Smith. Wow. All striking. Okay, let's, let's watch Mike Roberts now. Mike Roberts out of Miami, Florida. Look where the, look where the left foot is. Going to slide right in the middle of that gutter cap. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, bad break. Let's watch the young lady now. The Lake, the Lake Placid lady. Kim fourth over. Wow, what a shot. Oh, got a break. All right, went a little high. Oh, got another one out of there. Good, she can't chop it. That's good. Her mother's loving it. The great John Bam Barron really became better late in life. Really a good bowler. Didn't bowl five years. He looks great. Bowls well here every week. He's got it down. Really does. Okay, now we're going to watch Robert Hilton and Kim. Watch Kim coming right at you. Just a beautiful game. Oh, uh, yeah. a little off there. She got it. Though. All right. Watch Hilton now. Rips the rack. And Hilton is saying, don't make a mistake to Stouffer. What he's saying is, there's my triple. Don't miss. Stouffer makes a mistake here and gets a five and three. Hilton can just blow right by him. Oh, boy. He caught a break there. Caught a break. Pulaski Jr. now up. Let's watch the young man. Best of young man's bold in a while. Nice to see. Definitely making a statement that uh, he can play. Nope. Gonna, gonna hold it back for a minute. Now the Baron's gonna pick it up. Let's watch Johnny Bam from the front. I mean, he just, he, every ounce of muscle in his body at the release point. Watch this. Whack! That is a freight train coming at you there. Don't get in front of that. And the young boy is saying, Chu Hilton and to Stouffer, don't make a mistake. And if he shoots 300 and puts the pressure on him in the late part of this position round, anything can happen. Anything. And Hilton left the four. So Hilton now has to wonder, you know, with Stouffer here, Stouffer can be 20 pins ahead. Stouffer's 10 ahead now. Hilton has to beat him by 12. 
So it's Stouffer getting this one. He's 20 ahead and 12 is 32. This puts Hilton down 32 pins to win a title if Stouffer can strike on this ball. Key shot already. Wow, over the gutter cap. And uh-oh, here we go. Now we got a problem. Okay, that's the question. How does he shoot it? Does he use the white spare ball and throw a rocket at it? Or is he going to take his hand out of the resin and throw at it? What's he going to do? He's going to stay with resin. He's not going to the white spare ball. So now Hilton, 119 and a fourth, can take the lead here if Stouffer misses. So this is key already. And Stouffer just got up and let it rip. So Stouffer is up eight pins. Hilton has to beat him by 12. It's a 20-pin match with Roberts now coming up on a strike. And Roberts is by no means out of it. Wow. Nope. Really overlofted that one. You can hear it bounce twice. The double bounce, that, that's risky. You don't know when the ball's going to grab when you're bouncing it. Uh, just uh, one of those shots you'd probably like to have back. And the kid's got another one. The kid's got six. And the Baron coming back with a double. And he is not out of it. Let's go to the scoring. Now the Baron's down eight. And here, 59 and eight. If he beats Stouffer by 34 pins and wins and goes around Hilton, he can win the tournament. If he can beat Stouffer, he's got to beat him by 34 pins to win. And Hilton rolls a two pin and gave it right back to Stouffer. We have a we have a very close match here, folks. This is going to go down to the tenth frame. Ben Barron's in it, Hilton's in it, and Pulaski has now got himself very close with another strike. So it looks like there's four people with a chance to win. Remember, only one could take home the seven hundred and fifty dollar first place prize. Wow! So for knew he needed that one. So let's go back here now. So keep in mind, Pulaski's 79 pins behind Stouffer. If he wins, he has to beat him by 49. He's at a 249 pace. Stouffer at a 227 pace. Anything can happen. Roberts back. Now, again, this is probably the shot of the week for Van Baron. He's got to keep the pressure on Stouffer and stay ahead of Pulaski and Hilton. And right now, uh, this is key. It's probably his biggest shot. He's got to keep the string going. It's not about one strike now. It's about striking. He doesn't have a lot of time for any mistakes. I mean, it's now or never. A lot of loft. And it's a rip. And that's him. That ball is devastating in half pocket. I mean, he's got 500 revs off his hand. Very good control. Very good composure. And uh, he's a veteran. He's not going to flinch. You're not going to see him getting nervous. It's it's a little too late. He's a little too old. It's all up to Stouffer, though. He's in control of his own destiny. Keep in mind, here's his scoring. He's 127 in the fifth on a strike in the sixth. He's on his good lane. He can stand left without the ball return, take a normal approach. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh, that was catastrophic. Now, Mark Jr. can go around a lot of people right now. And he's looking at Stouffer with the face. <laughs> what kind of a face? What kind of a face was that? That was a face from Mars. Did he look like a Martian on that? Was that a human face? I don't either. What kind of a face is that, Eek? Watch out for Hilton now, because Hilton can go around Stouffer as well right here. Wow, when he shreds the rack, and all of a sudden it could be between Hilton and Pulaski Jr. Now the Baron up. Let's watch the Baron. This is exciting. We're going to give you the score in a minute. We're going to keep you close here. Scoring week. We've only got one scoring unit up that you could see, but I'm going to 
I'll give it to you because I have an idea where we are. Look at Ben Barron. Oh, John. Darn it. God, he had it. Oh, he's got to be sick on that one. All right, we're going to go to the scoring. Here's the situation. Now, if you look, Pulaski Jr. is 79 pins behind Stouffer. But he's beating him this game by 34. But if he gets a strike on this next one, it's 24. So he's making a move. Now, if Hilton beats Stouffer, Pulaski is only 38 pins behind Hilton. So, the kid right now gets to eight in a row here, and we got ourselves a barn burner, and I'd hate to look at that face coming back. Oh, my God. Get ready. Make Jack Nicholson uh, get nervous, and here's Johnny. Let's see. Oh, look at the kid. Look at the kid. No face. No face. Did not give Stouffer the look. He's going to sit down. Look at him. Don't tell me he's focusing. Oh, my God. He's focused. So here's the deal. He is now ahead. 54 pins ahead of Stouffer. 54. If he wins, it's 84. If he wins, it's 84. He's he's around Stouffer right now. But Hilton, Hilton could go around Stouffer. And, and, but, and Pulaski can't go around Hilton if they both keep striking. But if Hilton makes a mistake, all of a sudden, wait a minute. Okay, Stouffer standing in front of that ball return again. Really taking his time. Wants to make a good shot here. This is key. Okay, Stouffer right now knows he's in a lot of trouble. Yep. Well, here's the situation. Both Hilton and Pulaski know if they keep striking, it's between those two now because Hilton can beat Stouffer. So now he ain't got to worry about Stouffer anymore because he's ahead by 12 or more. Now he's got to worry about Pulaski. Unbelievable. What an exciting finish. Okay, Stouffer on a spare. Let's go back to the score now. Keep in mind... Pulaski is 38 pins behind Hilton. If he gets this strike right here, he's the leader. If, if, if Pulaski gets this strike, he is, be, he is ahead of Stouffer and Hilton with this strike. And I believe he knows it. He's calculating. He's smart. He knew he had a bowl at least 279. He's thinking 300. There's no doubt about it. Taking his time. I like what he's doing. He's really taking his time. He's letting everybody bowl. He's letting, he's letting Gould bowl. Letting Van Baron bowl. He's looking down at the approach. Getting set. Get the ball comfortable in his hand. Taking his time for eight in a row and the lead in the tournament. Or nine in a row and the lead in the tournament. And there it is. Oh, my God. He's coming. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He is from Mars. Check him out. Unbelievable. He just took the lead. Here's the deal now. Keep this in mind. He's a le he's he is eleven oh four. If he shoots three hundred, he goes fourteen thirty four. If Stouffer wins, he needs two twenty eight. No, two twenty six. Now wait a minute. He's 221. Okay, he strikes. He strikes. Here's the deal. If Hilton strikes, it's going to be between Pulaski and Hilton. If Hilton doesn't strike, it's anybody's match. Oh, boy. Forget it. There. Oh, boy. There's the OB. Oh, God, Robert. What would you do, Robert? Oh, he's got to be sick. Oh, Robert. He had the match. Now, now if he opens, Stouffer can go around him and Pulaski can't catch him. See, that, that allowed, that allows, by Hilton doing that, it's going to allow, it's going to allow Stouffer to win the game. 
Unbelievable. Hilton has to get this mark because now he's let Stouffer have a chance to win the game with the three count. Unbelievable. What are the odds of that? Okay, got the got it. Now Pulaski up has to strike here. Wow! Wow! Okay, so let's go back to the scoring again. Here's the situation: if Pulaski strikes out, he goes 14-34. If he gets nine, he'd be 14-23. Stouffer. Can look, Stouffer has to win and shoot 211. Right now, he needs a mark in the 10th if Pulaski doesn't get this one. If Pulaski gets this one, Stouffer has to strike and beat Hilton. Wow. Now, Hilton has to strike here to shut, have a chance to shut Stouffer out. And he's solid fours. So here's the deal. Soya works. I got it. I got it. I got it. What's going on? Wow. Wow. Pulaski with the front 11 is obviously now has a shot to go 14-34 if he strikes. Okay. Stouffer has to strike here or he loses. And Hilton now with the uh, 29, 42, 72. Pulaski Jr. is the winner. Pulaski Jr. has won by shooting a minimum in the 290s. He's won the tournament. Mark Pulaski Jr. has won the tournament. And shot 299, 298 to win. Unbelievable. And the young man shoots 298 to go 1432. 1432 to win. Hilton picking up 61. It's going to be 40 up. The young man's going to have won by 30 pins by shooting 298 for a win. And Hilton. Goes 231 against Stouffer plus 61. Hilton will be 1403. And Stouffer will be uh, 1444. And Mike Roberts could actually go around Stouffer. Oh, my God. What an end. What an exciting, exciting end. It's by far our greatest title match in history of these Saturday events. Nothing close to this can compare. The young man, Mark Pulaski Jr., coming from 79 pins down in fifth place to win. Unbelievable. 79 pins down in fifth to win. The greatest performance of his young career, no doubt. The best day he's ever shown. No doubt. To do this under this kind of pressure against those bowlers, absolutely amazing. And a young boy, I must say, that's one of the best 298s I've ever seen in my life. Not only was every strike for real, the bottom line was he starts off the match 79 pins down. And uh, the kid's great. you got to give him credit. You know, any time you do that, I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're from. When you pull that off, you're, you're one hell of a bowler. It's just there's, there's no luck involved with that. That's not two Brooklyn's 190 to 180 to win. That's not garbage. That's 298. He should be extremely proud. And this should be the highlight of his bowling career because he won in his hometown on a sports shot, challenge shot, and was down in the match 79 pins to start and ran away and hit. Bolt six deuces to win. 
200, 228, 212, 258, 206, 298. Save your best for last.